two years ago, I recorded a time-lapsed video of me creating the first 64-bit computer in Minecraft. But unfortunately, I never got around to showcase the computer. I haven't been working on the computer since then, but I figured it's time to make some videos showcasing the computer. So in this first video, I want to show you some GPU accelerated instructions that this computer have. So if we start the computer here, we can already see in the chat box that some instructions are executed. This particular program will execute some GPU accelerated instructions. Instructions showcased here in this video will be a function that creates a circle on the screen of a particular radius and position. We will also be showcasing a GPU accelerated version of Bresenham's line drawing algorithm and also a GPU accelerated flood fill command. Right here we can see the line drawing algorithm being used and soon after this we will be seeing the flood fill command in action and what's happening behind the scenes. What we're seeing here is some uh, stones being generated behind a couple of armor stands. And what this does is basically calculating where the new color will be. So here we can see the finished result of the program. Lastly, I want to show you how to program this computer. To ease the programming process, I've basically created an assembler for the computer. So in here, we can basically see the program that we just ran. I also want to show you a quick program that we can write right here in this assembler. As you can see, this assembler comes with a syntax highlighter, so the programmer can see where he did something wrong. So this program is going to add the number 40 to register 0. After that we will add the number 120 to register 0. And then we're moving the number 20 into register 1. And finally, we are multiplying register 1 with register 0. The assembler also comes with an emulator of the computer. So we can basically debug our programs directly in the assembler. Within the assembler, we can also load our programs straight into the Minecraft computer. So once the program is loaded here into the Minecraft world, we can try to run the program. As we tick through the program, we can see that the, the new values are being added to our registers. And that's it folks! I will probably be making some more videos regarding this computer and uh, maybe even perhaps some tutorials on how to create your own uh, command block computer. But for now, have a good time and I might see you later in later videos.